It's a brown, liquefied, like a blended, nasty, nasty stuff. A sudden sewage backup led a San Diego family to an even bigger plumbing problem. Mm, they tell our Team 10 investigator Adam Rakusen when that new sewer line was installed, therein never got connected. Yeah, if you can imagine with this, a clogged toilet. Now mm. what that's like. Now think of everything in your house that uses water looking exactly like that clogged toilet. This is sewage that we're talking about. Yeah, sewage and years of it. This homeowner says when Cruz installed a new city sewer main, his line and some of his neighbors didn't get connected to that new line. I've been in this house for 25 years. In those 25 years, Rex Huffman says he's never had an issue with the plumbing. That streak of good luck came to an end last month. Uh, we knew something was wrong, even though we'd never had a problem. We didn't know what was wrong. Without warning, everything in the house that used water was filled with this. It's a brown, liquefied, like a blended, nasty, nasty stuff. Uh, it does have an odor. The family called the plumber who got to work. This literally unscrews and you can put a snake right down it. They snaked the pipe, but still no relief. We were given a city map. This is where your lateral is. Follow that marker. And so we did that. Rex says they got an excavator and worked from the house to the street, tearing up their front yard. We, d we keep digging to the edge of the sidewalk, which is all you're allowed to do. Sure. Um, and we can't, we can't find anything that would cause an obstruction. Rex says the plumber notified the city there was an issue. He says he was stunned at what they discovered. A pipe that, that was some form of lateral, but it had a burlap sack in it. It was, it, was, it was not connected. Our lateral was never connected to the sewer line. Rex tells me Cruz replaced the main line back in 2004 and claims this burlap sack over where the connection should be proves his lateral never got hooked up. So here's the million dollar question. You've got 14 years worth of sewage that's coming from that house. It's got to go somewhere, right? But where? According to the city, it didn't go far. They say Rex's house was still connected to the old line. All that sewage just sat there in the old abandoned sewer line until it overflowed. A city spokesperson tells Team 10 the line was replaced back in 2004 by private independent contractors hired by the city to do the work. They connected all but three homes. At this point, they can't say why he didn't get connected, but claim the decision not to connect would have to come from the homeowner. The contractor even left holes in the main line in case they wanted to connect at a later date. This is where we found this this pipe. Rex says no way. There was nothing to sign off on. They weren't notified. He even points to all the work the crews have been doing at his house since his complaint. Right now he's out 20,000 to the plumber and he thinks it's going to cost another 20,000 on top of that to redo the front yard. I'd like to be made our family made right. We have something that flushes. We never have to worry about again for sure. And Rex says they are now connected to the correct main and crews are still out his house at his house working in that area. He was handed a claim form to try to recover the cost incurred by the plumber. If the city rejects that claim, there could be some sort of legal action moving forward with that. Mm. Now, he did send me one of his service bills. You know, you get it every month or two. Well, paying for water and paying for sewer on that. It says your sewer bill. He was paying for that sewer service every two for months 14, or so. For 14 years. years. So he says, wow. yeah, it is there. And he showed me the bill at least from a year ago. So we know at least a year ago he was still doing that. Yeah, and not cheap to be able to yeah. run all of those pipes out to the street like he's yeah. obviously doing. And I think there's still a lot of confusion on how he wouldn't get hooked up. And I think that's a conversation that he and the city are really going to have to get into to figure out exactly what happened because I'm sure that he did not want to be connected right. to the line. And 14 years of waste under his home. Yeah. Disgusting. Yeah. Wow.